Hello Cap, welcome to your reading for August. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. I'm pulling a Celtic cross for you today and as always, I'm starting off with a couple of Astro cards just to get an overview. Now towards the end of the reading, I will be pulling a couple of tea leaves and charms. So make sure you stick around for that. Oh, nice. Okay, very interesting. Sagittarius right before you literally rules the ninth house and they had house three as well. So house nine <clears throat> talks about spiritual growth and house three talks about early learning, childhood relations, the rational mind and communication very similar energy to this because they had 12th house so if you're on the cusp i would recommend you watch that reading as well now <clears throat> i feel like there is a transformation happening in how you look at your spirituality how you look at religion how you look at your beliefs and your ideals it's possible that you've grown up with a particular set of beliefs that have been handed down to you by your family or your community but it's almost like there's something else there's something more that you need to or you have learned. You see that, that candle right there and the wings. It literally talks about letting your heart be lighter. It's possible that you're carrying generational trauma, which is very common for a Capricorn because you're ruled by Saturn, which is a very difficult planet to be ruled by. So there are a lot of lessons that you learn early on in life. And again, early learning. So something that you've been taught when you were a child, it's almost like your rational mind is rejecting that and trying to grow and evolve with its own rules. Does that make sense? Let's see. Now I'm using uh, the Dream Keeper's Tarot and this is a beautiful, beautiful deck. I'm going to try and do justice to it. Now, center of your reading, we have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is literally a card of healing and isolation. It talks about enlightenment because there are no external variables trying to affect your energy the only other energies here are your spirit guides you see those animals right there it's your spirit animals so you could be spending time with animals plain and simple or you could just be recuperating it's possible that you've taken a break from your social groups from your friendships whatever it may be because you need to heal and as soon as you wake up there's a raven right there waiting to put a halo back on your head that halo does talk about being protected by your guardian angels but it can also talk about peace of mind but there is something that is challenging this let's see what it may be the knight of wands okay then you want to take action you want to go 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 there's you've got your eye on the prize there's something you want to accomplish it is also possible that there is a declaration of love that either you want to make or you want someone to make to you which is kind of spoiling your peace of mind just a tad um, the knight of wands can be very charismatic very magnetic and charming you know someone who <clears throat> has boundless energy and who's full of passion and creativity i feel like your drive and your your need to take action is preventing you from sitting still <laughs> literally because you see the paradox here house nine is sagittarius energy it's go 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 energy but it represents spiritual growth it represents centering yourself grounding yourself and then we have mercury house three the planet the fastest moving planet in our solar system so there is a sense of a push and pull happening here should i stay should i move should i rest should i take action that's where you're stuck let's see what is your focus two of swords yeah there's confusion there's temptation and stability what should i pick the knight of wands goes after his temptations okay the knight of wands wants to take action regardless of the consequences that is temptation and the four of swords is literally resting renewing healing that is stability you're feeling disconnected from your own body because you don't know what to do plain and simple there is a spiritual growth that wants to happen here there is a sense of renewal that wants to happen here but i don't know it's almost like your rational mind is not letting you make decisions right now 
What was in the recent past for you, Cap? The star, Sagittarius had the same card in the same exact position. You were healing. I feel like you're almost telling yourself, I've done healing. I don't want to heal anymore. Like, I'm tired of healing. I literally just heard that in my head. But then again, your rational mind is what is going to keep you afloat. Your body is not going to. Your body is represented by fire and earth. Your rational mind is air. There is some kind of realization or an idea that needs to manifest your, itself in your current reality that is going to truly help you heal. And it's not going to just be like, okay, fine, I'm, I've done the healing, I'm done. You know, I need a sip of coffee, sorry. So, <clears throat> I feel like there is a shift that needs to happen here. It's possible when you were a child, you were told to do certain things. For You know how... At least in our communities, healing is not really a thing. Mental health, was, at least when I was growing up, mental health wasn't prioritized. Okay, like if you, you were having a bad day and you were emotionally down and out, that wouldn't give you an excuse to, to, to stay home from school. If you had a stomach ache, yes, of course. So the physical body was prioritized, but the mental body wasn't. You know, the, your spirituality, your, your mind wasn't. This is that feeling that you're telling yourself, okay, fine, I'm hurt, but I still need to go. I need to achieve. I need to do something. And your body and your mind and your spirit are screaming at you to, to rest. That's what I'm getting here. That's the paradox. Give yourself a break cap. What is your strength? What is crowning you? <clears throat> The nine of pentacles, you've been through a whole lot. The nine of pentacles always comes about as an achievement card. This is a sense of independence, financial, emotional that you have achieved. And almost like you see those blue birds, they, they are harbingers of joy and success and peace and harmony. I feel like there's a celebration that is due here. You have been through a whole lot. You've accomplished a whole lot. You've been through so many obstacles. The Nine of Pentacles is also a card of rest. In a lot of decks, it is um, illustrated with a, with a mountain lion, which talks about overcoming that mountain, overcoming those obstacles, and finally being in a, in a state of peace and rest. It's sometimes, for me, also a card of early retirement. It's possible for some of you. <coughs> Let's see, what is your immediate future the two of pentacles <laughs> you have the two of swords and the two of pentacles there's indecision here why are you putting so much pressure on yourself cap you see the head is not where it should be it's where the solar plexus chakra is the solar plexus chakra talks about your image talks about your self-confidence your self-esteem what brings you well joy what makes you feel better about yourself this is leo energy I feel that you are, again, putting way too much pressure on yourself, not realizing that you are almost at the apex. You feel like you're at the bottom of the mountain, but you really aren't. And you're constantly juggling. It's possible that you're doing multiple jobs, okay, and you're not being able to give your all to one particular thing. Or within a particular career, you, you've invested in way too many projects and your mind is completely scattered. Focus on one thing at a time, perfect it, master it, and then move on to the next thing. I feel like as a Capricorn, you are one of the hardest workers in the Zodiac because again, you're ruled by Saturn, which is a hard taskmaster. Rest, Cap. Give yourself a break. How are you showing up to this reading? The fool wanted to show itself. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah, definitely not full energy. You are Knight of Pentacles energy through and through. The Knight of Pentacles wants to take action. You see the pose right there, yeah? What is he doing about it? He's turning into a statue. He's like, yeah, uh, okay, but I'm not going to move. The Knight of Pentacles is incredibly slow. It is someone who has a desire to do something, but it's almost like Mother Earth is asking it to slow down. So this Knight of Wands energy is not really your energy. The Knight of Pentacles is your energy. The energy of being slow and steady and finally winning the race. Learn. 
train yourself train your mind if you can't take physical action right now you're exhausted you're tired go on a vacation take a book with you train your mind in the process you know you don't have to sit on your hands that's not what i'm asking you to do at all okay okay let's see external influences that you may or may not be aware of the four of cups there's something that's being offered to you but you're almost not looking at it because you're so discontent with what it is that you already have not realizing that this fourth cup might just hold a wish that can be fulfilled you see how her body is all well broken but she has all the tools she needs to fix her body but she she's just complacent she's like no well i'm tired i i, I don't know what to do it's fine i'll just sit here the four of swords is a beautiful energy because your mind is doing something it's healing the four of cups is not doing anything so there is a balance that needs to be struck here between taking action and giving your body the rest it deserves there may be a beautiful opportunity coming your way whether it's in love or it is in career or something that is the ace of cups that is a brand new opportunity a brand new beginning look at it it could be completely different from what you're used to look at it regardless it may help your heart be lighter okay let's see hopes and fears for cap ace of pentacles i love it the knight of pentacles carries this ace of pentacles you are hoping for something brand new you are hoping for a new beginning you're hoping to plant a brand new seed for yourself that can finally manifest itself into a big old oak tree i'm getting this feeling of of building generational wealth starting with you you know what i mean and this is an opportunity that is being granted by the universe it needs to be worked upon this is not the two of pentacles this is not multiple options that you need to juggle this is one thing one thing that you can focus all your energy on and slowly but surely help it grow an oak tree is not going to grow in 10 minutes it will take 10 years right i'm not not saying it's going to take you 10 years to be successful there is a card of early retirement here i feel like whatever this is that is going to happen for you is going to be slow and steady but it's going to get you to a point where you will never look back you're going to be so whole and content within yourself what is the potential outcome for cap temperance stunning energy if you're on the cusp with sag please watch their reading cuz this is sagittarius energy now temperance in this particular deck talks about two parts of yourself coming together this is this could be your left brain and your right brain coming together it could be your yin and your yang your feminine masculine coming together it could be you and your higher self coming together into integration in order to form a balanced and harmonious union this could also mean uh your optimistic mind and your pessimistic mind now you can be a very pessimistic sign again thanks to saturn but that optimism that sagittarius energy comes with that jupiterian energy comes with the integration of that is going to help you look at a glass as a glass not half full not half empty this is a card of reality for me this is a card of being in the present moment and making the most of what you have really good reading so far all right <clears throat> let's get you a couple of tea leaves we have jug light hearted carefree time i told you you need to go take a break take a vacation or something it's like you're really tightly wound up putting too much pressure on yourself bouquet compliments from an admirer that's possible maybe this night wants someone else entirely all right we have flute <clears throat> disappointment in a friend or lover it's possible that this did come about which is why you had to heal <clears throat> but i think it's in the past money path a path with money is waiting for you to find it yes that is ace of pentacles energy right there think of something differently think of think outside the box think of something you haven't thought of before keen pay attention to your health very important very very important if you started a new exercise routine make sure you wash your backs teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex maybe you're having a tea party it's possible 
All right, pig, beware of greed. Yes, beware of greed, Cap. It's very easy for us to get carried away in, in, in the pursuit of success where we forget where, where else our energy needs to be invested. Okay. Bowl, plenty of material things. This has been a financial and career reading, mostly for you. But I feel like if you've been focusing on material wealth and growth, it's, it's coming about for you. You have a lot of pentacle cards, which is a really good sign. All right, let's close this off with a couple of charms. We have the letter R. So this could be your initial or someone you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. We have a mask. Be authentic. Cap. And make sure you're surrounding yourself with people who are authentic as well. No masks here. Peace. You need peace. You need R&R. &R. Let your heart be light. Would you look at that? Give your heart a break, my friend. I feel like it's it's been supporting you. It's been looking after you. And it needs a little bit of recognition now. All right. That was it for you, Cap. I hope this helped you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.